Over the last year, it's been kind of a whirlwind. Uh, I've won a lot of awards. And the highlights was being on the Grand Old Opry stage in the iconic circle. And I accepted the award for Blues Album of the Year, which I worked so hard on. I've been working on this Blues Album for probably two years. And it's just been such a beautiful project, poured my heart and soul into it. I'm Justine Blazer. I am a music producer, I am a vocal engineer, a mixing engineer out of Nashville, Tennessee. I'm also a blues recording artist. When I first moved to Nashville, it was a, a man's town and it wasn't very inclusive, it wasn't very diverse. I wasn't getting taken seriously, like I'd walk into the session and they would be like, are you the wife, are you the girlfriend? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm the producer, like I'm here to run the session. And it was, it was hard at the beginning. And so I would work relentlessly at this. I would work all hours of the day. I was obsessed with it. And it was 2018 was when I actually had my first official client. And she called me because her producer um, decided to just bail like last minute. So I said, okay, well, I'm gonna produce this album and let's just see where this goes. And so I didn't know what I was doing. It was, it was like, I was learning as I went, and uh, but it ended up doing really well. It really put me on a map as a producer. And then after that, I started getting calls from all kinds of managers, and I was just like, okay, I need to like learn this. Like, I need to take this seriously. I came across pro media training, and I signed up, and they're super hands-on, super helpful, and I was able to learn more about all the different features. I was like, ah, had a lot of aha moments. So I've been incorporating that into my workflow and it's been just so much better. I've been able to do things so much faster. You just get like a lot more confidence and understanding the software. If you don't know, Pro Tools is the industry standard and people avoid it like they're scared of it and it's just because there's a lot of parts to it and so being able to own that space, it's very empowering, whether you're a hobbyist, whether you're a professional, even if you're just a, a songwriter, guess what? You have to make demos. That's that's part of your job as a songwriter because you have to you have to pitch that to your publishers and you have to pitch that to other writers. And if you no one's gonna take you seriously if you have like a little chintzy phone recording. You're, they want something that's gonna be good. And so I just wanna give a shout out to Pro Media Training. They're super hands-on, super helpful. It's just been such a fun community to be a part of. Not only people that are my instructors, but I've met some other people in the class as well. And it's been a community. Now my hopes is to really start to push myself to more opportunities, to bigger studios, to bigger artists, labels, things like that. So that's kind of my goal and I think I can do that with the confidence of all the training under my belt. I wasn't even planning on being a producer, that was never in my plans. I, I moved to Nashville to be a country singer, that was my, that was my plan. And none, none of that actually happened because I ended up being a blues singer and I ended up becoming a you know, full-time music producer. So I had no idea this was the path for me, but I got so sick and tired of dealing with the stuff that I was dealing with that I just wanted to take matters in my own hands. And if that means I had to take like a couple steps backwards to be able to learn, then that's what it meant. And I ended up finding out that I was really good at this at the same time. I just pretend.